Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and today I want to test out the AGC, Automatic Gain Control, of the Canon T2i 550D. Um, what you want to have happen is the audio gain control to uh, react only to the frequency response of the human voice, male or female, and you do not want it to react to background noise, such as shuffling or doors closing or stuff like that. Um, I used to be an acoustical consultant I designed um, sound systems for airports, arenas, football stadiums, and uh, one of the things that we designed a lot were um, hotel ballrooms. And where you don't have anybody to operate the sound system, you basically have somebody come in, connect the mic up to the mic jack, um, and just start talking, basically, with a cord. And they would automatically the level adjust if they're a quiet talker or if they're a loud talker, they would bring them down. And, um, it was a great situation because uh, it would it, 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 you wouldn't need an operator. Well, in AGC world for a camera, it's kind of similar because if you're operating the camera, you've got your mind on the video, and it's very tough to do the the audio. Having an AGC is actually a very good thing. I know a lot of people talk about AGC being a bad thing on these cameras, but if you're a one-man show, man, AGC is a great thing to have. So what I do is test out the AGC, which I really haven't done yet, um, and see how it reacts to my voice. Right now, I'm using a Rode microphone that's uh, two feet away from my mouth. Um, it's a shotgun microphone. Um, and I'm using an external cord. It's about a 10-foot cord going into the camera. Mic input. I'm not using any off-board type thing. Okay, this is going to be the first test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shout into the microphone from the same distance. And I'm going to guess you're going to hear a little bit of clipping right off the bat, but it should bring my level down. Because right now I'm actually talking a little bit quieter, so you should hear it react. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to talk really quietly into the microphone and you should hear the level come back up again. When I did those series of numbers you should have heard it probably distort on the first few but as I got faster with the numbers you should have heard them um, not distort if the AGC was doing its job correctly. Um, so now I'm talking very quietly. Now I'm going to talk at a normal voice now let's do the second test, which what we're trying to do is listen for background, how it reacts to background noise. And this is probably where most of the complaints come from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically stop talking and I'm just going to rustle a few things around and I'm not talking at a normal level now. And it should basically lock in the last level of my voice from the last time and keep it consistent. And if I make rustling around noises, those noises should not affect the level and you shouldn't hear it ramp up and then try to amplify the, the background rustling. So first thing I'm going to do is do, I'm just going to be quiet for a few seconds and start rustling around. So basically, it shouldn't have brought the level up for those background noises. It should only be geared towards the frequency response of my voice. So I have no idea how these tests just did. And um, comment, whatever. I don't know if these are the, the best type of test for a recording device. But uh, we'll, we'll see. So thanks for coming by and uh, checking this video out. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.